video we are going to go over how to test for independence within a contingency table in SAS. The overall code that we're going to use is this proc freak data is equal to whatever the data set is, tables, variable 1, and asterisk variable 2. Then we would have slash chi, chi sq, no call, no row, and no percent. That's because we are not able to code it in such a way that it's nicely as a um, contingency table. Now we would need the expected, and expected is actually on the same line as above. So no call, no row, no percent, expected, semicolon. And weight would be whatever the counts column is, and then run. So for example, my data set here is a um, is a magic data set here. We have the parentage of wizard, mixed, and muggle parents. We have the magic being either a wizard or a muggle, and then the different counts. I should probably note that the contingency table is typically written out like this. We would have those the parentage, that magical status, and then all the counts. We would have to though change the data set originally like this with the frequencies into something like this, where we would have a column for each variable and then the counts in the last one. Alright, so in order to, for us to use this magic data set with that, the actual program itself would look, would look like this, proc freak data is equal to work dot magic I called it, tables parentage asterisk magic uh, slash chi sq no call no row no percent expected weight that counts column and then run doing so will give us this as a result it gives us the table note how this is written now as a contingent table unlike what the data table here was but it does look more like this at least it gives us all of those counts, the totals. It gives us the expected counts. It doesn't label it, but these are the expected counts down here. And do note how, while looking at this, we have a total of one, two expected counts that are below five. Alright, so that would indicate that this chi-square test is not going to be uh, valid for this. But, just to show you what those results do look like, it gives us the chi-squared value with the degree of freedom. It gives us the actual value and the probability, which in this case is less than 0 0.00001, which indicates that these would be dependent on each other as opposed to independent. But again, as it does one down here, we don't. We have two cells here with the expected frequencies less than 5 and as such this can't really necessarily be trusted unfortunately but due to that that's why this warning is down here let me know if you have any questions or concerns thank you